Hey everyone, this is Exploring Fiction, and welcome back to another video. So today, I just wanted to bring you my James Bond actor rankings. And so, just before we get started here, I just wanted to let you know, this list is not by whether I think they were the best to portraying the James Bond from the Fleming novels, or anything like that. This is just my list of my preference of James Bond actors, and so I know there are going to be a lot of differences between your list and my list, most likely, so just keep in mind, this is just my subjective list, you'll probably disagree, so, some of you might even disagree heavily, and so just leave me your list below, uh, just remember, don't get too mad, this is just my subjective list, and let's get right into it. So, at number 6, I have Pierce Brosnan. And now, I know Pierce Brosnan is well-loved in the James Bond community, and I can't blame you. I, I like Pierce Brosnan's screen presence. I think he's good at playing the suave, cold, and calculated James Bond, and I think he was the perfect James Bond for the 90s, and I do like him. Like, none of these actors I dislike, but I just think... His movies, for me, drag him down a little bit. Like, obviously, I love Goldeneye. And The World Is Not Enough is a great movie, too. But, honestly, I just was not as big of a fan of his movies or his era. And I just think that drags him down a little bit for me. I still think he was a really good James Bond. But sometimes he just came off as a little boring to me. And like I said, I know he's well-loved. But sometimes I just found him a little flat. Although he could portray the cool, calculated Bond, I think for me personally, he was just dragged down because I wasn't the biggest fan of some of his movies. Coming in at number 5 is Roger Moore. Now, Roger Moore is a totally different take on Bond than most of the other actors. He's, you know, very... In, in the zanier, campier, cheesier Bond films, and he's known for his humor and one-liners, but... He honestly grew on me. Like, I definitely would have put him last if you would have asked me this even a couple months ago. But the more I watch some of his films, especially his better films, I, I find myself enjoying Roger Moore. Um, the reason why he's lower on the list is just because the campier take on Bond isn't my favorite. But I can appreciate him for what he did to the role and how long he carried it for and the fun he had behind his portrayal of Bond. Coming in at number four, and I can't believe I'm saying this, is Daniel Craig. Now, I grew up on the Craig Bond films. I love Casino Royale and Skyfall, and despite its flaws, I like Quantum of Solace, and so I'm really surprised that I'm putting Daniel Craig at four, but after thinking long and hard, this is just how I feel. Like I said, I love Casino Royale and Skyfall, and I think he plays a really good, ruthless, down-to-earth, almost bitter and cold Bond, and you can also relate to him at many times as well. But I just think he was a little too weepy sometimes, and out of outside of his first three movies, he just didn't feel as badass or as threatening, I guess might be the right word. I'm not exactly sure the word I'm looking for here, but... I don't know, I think he just lost a step once Spectre hit. And, you know, he's said, Daniel Craig himself has said what he thought about Spectre and all that. So, but yeah, I just think he was a little too weepy, I guess you would say. Like, Casino Royale, it's, it's expected because that's supposed to be the emergence of Bond as the Bond we know and love. But... After taking into account all of these films and all of the portrayals, I just have to put Craig here. Coming in at third is George Lazenby. And now this might stir up some fans and, you know, put me in some hot water, but I'm going to stand by this. Now I'll admit, this is probably where I get pretty biased, as I'm nostalgic for On Her Majesty's Secret Service... However, I think Lazenby gets way too much hate. Sure, you can say that he, his performance as Bond was kind of wooden, but honestly, I think that people only say that and exaggerate that because of how charming Sean Connery was. 
was. I think George Lazenby played a good version of a cold and kind of tense Bond, one who was more cut off from from a lot of emotions, but he was able to open up and you could feel the emotions, especially for his soon-to-be wife, Tracy, at the right times in the film. I just wish we'd gotten more time with Lazenby, but the time I did spend watching him on screen, I, f- I concluded a very different opinion from a lot of Bond fans, and I really enjoyed him. At number two is Timothy Dalton. And now one and two for me could be a flip of a coin, because I think Timothy Dalton is the most underrated Bond, the closest to Bond from the Fleming novels, and just a great lead actor for James Bond. Now, I think he was great at playing the cold, calculating, ruthless, cold-hearted James Bond, who you know would be a 007, you know, 00 agent killer. And yet he still had some good, almost warmer, good character moments as well. I just think that he was going, he was the best at doing what Craig and Brosnan were almost going for. And I know Brosnan kind of leaned into the, almost the Roger Moore side of things a little more. But I still think his screen presence was cold. But, But Timothy Dalton just played that, that, you know, scorned, man scorned, turned into a an agent whose job is to kill and he won't let anything get in the way of that of doing his mission and I think he played it perfectly and I really love his portrayal of Bond and you could just see it in his eyes Dalton was such a good actor I think his eyes and his expressions really kind of led the way in his performance and like I said it's a flip of a coin for him and my number one pick And just like that, coming into number one is Sean Connery. And here, I'm not one of those people who has Sean Connery as the best Bond because he was the first Bond. Because honestly, the first Bond I ever saw was Daniel Craig. Like, I didn't see Dr. No or any of the other Connery films until a few months ago when I started binging them all and getting really into Bond. But I just think Sean Connery is the best Bond because he has the perfect blend of charm, moments to be kind of a ruthless secret agent, and everything in between. And also, I would say that out of all the Bond actors, I like the most of Sean Connery's movies compared to the others. Like, out of Connery's six Bond films, canon films, because we're not counting Never Say Never Again, obviously... I would say I at least enjoy five out of the six, with Diamonds Are Forever being the odd one out. So that might have something to do with me putting Connery at number one. I can sit down, and for five of his six movies, I can say I like to love them. And so when I can enjoy five out of six of your movies and you on screen and not get bored of them, I would say you're doing a pretty good job. And like I said, Connery, his... His on-screen presence is just great. He has a lot of charm, and he's definitely, in my opinion, the best Bond to grace the screen. So guys, let like I said, let me know your list for the Bond actors below. Uh, it'll probably be very different from mine, because I feel like mine is kind of a hot take, especially at some points more than others. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new. This channel keeps on growing, and I couldn't do it without you. So I'll see you all next time.